I live in Marseille, and so the shifting um, political debate, which is also a personal debate um, about um, the arrival of people from, especially from Africa and from the Middle East, um, is just a part of like the everyday of Marseille. And so I had been very aware of an evolving political conversation about migrants coming to Europe um, in increasing number and with increasing urgency over the last, let's say, four or five years. So I was trying to think about some, some way to respond, not just to the, to like the political crisis, but also um, to the way that it's talked about or discussed or the language that's used to describe people who are coming from other places and the way that they are stereotyped, the way that their humanity is somehow flattened in the discourse and the images that are produced to address them. And I just think that art has an incredible potential in its most complex form to think about that problem differently. And so this show really came out of like, okay, so I, you know, we complain about these images and, this, and these ways of representing people. What are the, what are the alternatives? Zulomanto es un vídeo que he hecho en el contexto de una residencia en la ciudad de Argel. Yo nunca había vivido en, digamos, en un contexto represivo. Entonces, durante la residencia, incluso pensaba bastante en cosas que me han contado mis padres sobre el franquismo, porque veía como, como algunas relaciones. Y poco a poco, pues como en toda sociedad eh, represiva, hay, hay voces radicales y subversivas y poco a poco iba conociendo a gente y van surgiendo esas voces y esas imágenes. The video Lonely Planet is a 15-minute video that Shane and I shot in Costa Rica and it includes a lot of audio recordings that we took over the course of our trip there. So there's a slippage between what's happening in our conversations, which are sort of critical explorations of being an outsider, talking about privilege, protectedness, race, motherhood, and the, and the experience of being a stranger. In talking about the structure, um, I worked very closely with Natasha to kind of solve the problem of creating a show that is about intimacy and about the stranger and about organs within a body um, in a massive space such that is here at Tabacalera. <laughs> um, so the prompt was basically a spatial problem um, and the problem of creating more intimate spaces to the periphery of the structure as well as intimate spaces within the structure um, and moving people's bodies through the space um, which relates to the metaphor of the heart as an organ that fills and empties and is really kind of like a passageway in a way. The concrete monolith is a vibration piece. We did the heart recordings of the refugees that are living there, both men and women and all. Yes. And uh, then we transduced the sound vibrations that we got from the stethoscope into vibrational speakers that we then mounted on this monolith. Uh, so it's not really a sound piece, it's much more of a vibration piece. So it's interactive in the sense that you need to touch it or embrace it or preferably you could also lie your ears into the piece and you can feel just as... Uh, the heartbeat. Las acuarelas surgen de ciertos momentos de ensimismamiento en el estudio en los que, bueno, de alguna manera yo me doy cuenta de los gestos que hago con las manos cuando estoy mmm, concentrada, pensando o, o mirando algo, ¿no? Y, bueno, hay algo mmm, relacionado con esta especie como de reconocerse haciendo estos gestos, ¿no? O sea, como de repente empezaron a ser un tema recurrente y, y bueno, empecé a dibujarlos como muy rápido para no perder como estos momentos. Estas son dos piezas que pertenecen también a una serie grande de esculturas que estoy haciendo con un artesano que se llama Igor Obeso y parten de unos dibujos muy concretos y muy de, mmm, delineados y trazados de otra tercera persona. 
a las esculturas yo y el artesano de la interpretación que ha dado a mis dibujos, ¿no? es decir, que él las ha realizado, he trabajado con él, pero he tenido que sujetarme como a la interpretación suya y luego eh, bueno, también está el tema de que la técnica de soplar vidrio es tremendamente descontrolada ¿no? y entonces es como un proceso complejo. I started um, going to this particular gun shop. I uh, met uh, the owner Bruce and the manager Bailey. They were quite suspicious at the beginning, but eventually uh, something developed between us. Um, they took me to a shooting range. They taught me how to shoot different kinds of guns. And in return, I asked them to read excerpts from a text of political theory by a German political theorist Carl Schmitt. So in the video, we, we, um, we are trapped in the gun shop as much as we are trapped in this text that they are reading, and that, you know, it loops. Wonderbelly is an audiovisual series uh, that is uh, loosely inspired by a book, 2666, by Roberto Bolaño, who is a Chilean author. So what I do is that I take this, I transpose this, uh, the frame of the book to the city of Beirut. So basically, I stage these uh, dead bodies in the city, in mostly marginal spaces around the city. Jumana has these sort of part objects, these vessels, sort of like organs, they're sort of like body parts. Um, one of the interesting things that, that I learned as we were talking about the work for the, for the curatorial essay was that she's also really thinking about um, like sports culture or like the intense focus on certain parts of the body in physical training, in the weight training, um, and the enlargement of body parts according to that really rigorous and focused training, um, the so sort of in search of some impossible form of perfection. It's really um, important for us to deprioritize visuality. So we're in an age where there's just a complete surfeit of imagery. It's one of the ways that we communicate globally. We share little snapshots of what our life experience is. And as dancers who were trained to really <clears throat> perform imagery, to embody other people's ideas of representation and to participate in that history of representation, um, we are really trying to push back against that in our work. So we try to really open ourselves back to the haptic, to the oral, to the olfactory, to other ways of being sensory, intelligent, responsive beings. La palabra suceder es un, una serie de performances que, que tienen eh, siempre lugar en un cine. Lo que me interesaba del cine es eh, lo que tiene específicamente de construcción eh, de un tipo de experiencia que justo por ser eh, por estar eh, muy controlado para, para permitir que esa experiencia sea lo mejor posible, eh, hace, a diferencia de cómo generalmente tenemos experiencia de real, que es en, en nuestra vida cotidiana, que es un continuo, hace que cualquier eh, anomalía que se dé en su funcionamiento eh, ponga en evidencia cómo estamos construyendo eso.